start with a quick truth. One jet is a relic of a different era. The other is built for the realities of modern war. Which one would you want overhead when things get serious? The Mai G-29 is a Cold War icon. It arrived when air combat was still about raw speed, twin engines, and who could outturn who. It's loud, it's angry, and pilots adore its agility. If you like vintage performance with muscle and attitude, the Mi-G-29 delivers. But vintage is the key word. It was designed for a very different kind of fight. The JF-17 Block III? That's a different approach. Single engine, designed to be affordable, and upgraded with modern avionics that change how a pilot sees the battlefield. Block III adds an ESA radar, better electronic warfare, and a helmet display. It's built to survive modern threats, not just to look cool on a runway. One thing that often gets overlooked is the JF-17's actual combat record. This jet has logged confirmed kills against my G-21s and my G-29s in real conflicts, showing it's not just theory on paper. These aren't just training exercises. These are real-world results that prove the Block the Third can hold its own and come out on top. That kind of track record matters when you're comparing fighters. Here's the simplest way to think about it. The Mai G-29 wins dogfights. The JF-17 Block the Third wins modern combat. Saying that isn't an insult to the Mai-G. It's just acknowledging how warfare evolved. Today's air battles are about sensors, data links, and who detects whom first, and that favors the JF-17 Block the Third. Radar and sensors matter more now than tight-turning ability. The Block III radar lets pilots find targets earlier and track more of them at once. That gives you options. Engage from farther out, coordinate with other assets, or break contact before you're in trouble. The Mi-29's original radar and systems were fine when it was new, but older models lag unless they've been modernized extensively. Missiles change the calculus too. Modern missiles extend the fight beyond visual range. Extend the fight beyond visual range. The JF-17 Block III can use longer range, more advanced weapons that let it engage without getting cozy with an opponent. The Mi G-29 carries capable short-range missiles and some medium-range options, but unless upgraded with newer missiles and data links, it's disadvantaged and beyond visual range. Exchanges. What about maneuverability? The Mi G-29 retains the edge. Twin engines and a design optimized for agility make it lethal in close quarters. If the fight collapses to a knife fight, the Mai-G can still bite hard. But modern conflict tries to avoid that knife fight. If you can see first and shoot first from farther away, you don't need to rely on turning circles. Another angle people overlook. Sustainment. Operating costs. Logistics. And availability determine how many jets you actually have ready to fly. The JF-17 was built with cost-effectiveness in mind. It's simpler to maintain, and cheaper to operate. That's not glamorous, but it's decisive. A more advanced jet that's grounded because of maintenance problems does nobody any favors, no matter how pretty it looks on paper. Pilot training and networked operations also matter. Modern Air Force is trained to operate as systems jets, sensors, drones, and command elements all working together. The JF-17 Block III avionics are designed to plug into that kind of network. The Mi-G-29 can be upgraded, but originally, it was a more standalone platform. Integration takes time, money, and doctrine. Let's be honest about leadership and numbers. The Mi-G-29 had its moment and earned respect. It also shows up in a lot of air forces with varying levels of upgrade and maintenance. The JF-17 Block III is newer and keeps getting better as incremental improvements arrive. If you're choosing for a 21st century battlefield, incremental improvements in modern electronics beat raw vintage power most of the time. So what's the takeaway? If you need a close-range dogfighter and you love old-school agility, my G-29 still has teeth. If you want a practical, modern, networked fighter that can detect threats earlier, use smarter weapons, and keep flying more often, the JF-17 Block III is the better match. One final practical note. Wars aren't decided by how thrilling a jet looks in a promo video. They're decided by reliability, situational awareness, weapons reach, and whether the aircraft fits the doctrine and maintenance capacity of the operator. The Block III was designed with those realities in mind. Short and decisive, the Mi G-29 is a fierce classic. The JF-17 Block III is the smarter choice for modern combat.